This is Collector's Call Season 2. I can honestly say this is a first. Bigger. We've got boats, we've got submarines, we have Barbies everywhere. Everywhere. Better. Because they're not just objects, they're really parts of my own life. I know my mom would be so proud of what we've done. Well, it was so much fun. Fun is underrated, especially these days. And it's just a, an enjoyable, entertaining show. I learned something on every show, and not only about the collections, but even more importantly, the people. Well, for one thing, his collection was worth over a million dollars. So that is a super, super fan. Also, he lives in a rather small house, but it is, you could not fit a postage stamp of Elvis Presley on a wall there because every space is taken with Elvis Presley memorabilia. It gave me some insight into my own kids because really that was just dad. It was not Adam West and it was not Batman. It was just her father. Ralph had things that she had never even seen before. And so um, I think about my own kids. I mean, I'm not Blair, I'm, I'm mom, but I do hope someday that, um, you know, that there will be still things from the Facts of Life from Mickey Mouse Club that, that will keep my memory alive in that way for them as well. My favorite memory though was probably about 10 years ago. And I was having lunch with her at her condominium and it was a time where we really connected as women. Uh, obviously for all those years, I was a young woman or a child or a teenager. And this was a time where we were just, I, I was old enough and had lived enough life that we were connecting as women. And it was a really meaningful time. Well, because I've, I don't enjoy singing, I've never thought of myself as a singer. I'm not a great singer. Thankfully, even back then, they could do miracles with, you know, little turning knobs and buttons. The only reason I, I recorded the album in the first place was because I was on the Facts of Life and I knew that it was teenagers watching it. And I wanted to use my platform to be able to uh, influence and impact teenagers in a way specifically around my faith and letting them know that you know, God loves them and, and that they are accepted the way, just the way they are. But I knew if I stood up there and preached that, you know, they wouldn't listen for longer than five minutes. But if I put some of the things I wanted to say to music, then it would be entertaining, but it would also be hopefully um, impacting them with a, a message that was life changing for good. So I approached a friend of mine who had a record company and said, can I do this? And he said, yes. So once I did that, that was the only reason it wasn't because I wanted to have a recording career. Mm -hmm.